Former MP Chris Hume given jail time for speeding lies. Mystery toxin kills dogs in the New Forest. And easily clash with playoff rivals Boreham Wood. Hello and welcome to Winchester News Online. I'm Christina Michaels. The tale of a disgraced former MP and his economist ex-wife has come to a close. Ten years after they lied about swapping speeding points, Chris Hewn and Vicky Price are each starting eight-month sentences in prison for perverting the course of justice. Our crime correspondent Luke Garrett was at Southwark Crown Court for the sentencing. Jostled and shoved. Months before, Chris Hewn was a cabinet minister, but now he's just another criminal awaiting his sentence. Moments later, Vicky Price followed her ex-husband to Southwark Crown Court, flanked by police. Chris Hewn and Vicky Price were both sentenced to eight months in jail. During the course of the three-hour trial, the judge said that Hewn had fallen from a great height and that Price had shown no remorse. The ten-year lie ended when Hewn pleaded guilty on his first day of trial. It all started back in 2003 when Hewn got his then-wife, Price, to take his points after he committed a speeding offence. Perverting the course of justice is a very serious criminal offence and I think that's been reflected this afternoon in the sentences handed out to Mr Hewn and Ms Price. And I think this case acts as a very timely reminder for all those people who may be facing a driving ban and are thinking of passing their points on to others. This is not only unlawful, but as you can see from today's events, leads to life-changing consequences. Allegations came to light in 2010 when Price went to the press with the story. Hewn avoided talking about the offence when confronted with our cameras in 2011. Any allegations at all? Thanks, I've already responded and I'm helping the police and I'm sure they'll get to the bottom of the matter. Both their careers have been destroyed after they were found guilty of perverting the course of justice. But it was Hewn's career collapse that had the biggest impact, causing the Eastleigh by-election. His former constituents have reacted to his sentencing. They've done wrong. They could have avoided. They've messed up their family lives. I think they deserve everything they get. He broke the law. He got to pay for it. Uh, she's come off worse, really, by being bitter. After months of investigations and a decade of lies, Chris Hewn and his ex-wife Vicky Price have now been brought to justice. Luke Garrett, Winchester News Online. Southwark Crown Court. Hampshire vets are investigating an unknown poison that is killing dogs who have been on walks in the New Forest. The District Council is advising owners to avoid the Latchmore Brook area near Fording Bridge. Nadine Forshaw has been exploring the mystery. Plenty of space to run, but Ginny's owner is more concerned for her safety after a mystery toxin in the New Forest has killed eight dogs over the past three months. It is thought that the toxin makes its way into the dog's bloodstream after they get cuts on their legs and paws. A few days later, the dogs then go into kidney failure, which can be fatal. The forest is usually a haven for pet owners, but many are now avoiding the area. Go find it. Okay. Go find it's uh, made me think where to walk her, and I've really considered you know, where it would be safe for her. Where the dogs have been hurt or have died, I won't walk my dog there at all and it'll be some time before I even reconsider it. There is speculation surrounding what could be responsible. One of the theories is that there are toxins in the soil which have been eroded due to recent heavy rainfall. This has then made its way into puddles and rivers. However, experts are not sure whether this is an environmental or a biological toxin. The District Council have announced that they will be leaving the investigation up to vets as they await results from samples they have sent to America. All of the dogs have already had some you know, basic testing in terms of the usual things that we would do when presented with a dog in acute kidney failure. Um, but now we're doing much more detailed testing on uh, tissue samples from two of the dogs that unfortunately 
didn't survive. So we're doing toxicology testing. Uh, most of that testing is being done by a colleague at a lab in the United States. We're working very hard to find the answer. The council is advising dog walkers to be vigilant and to avoid the Latchmore Brook area near Fording Bridge. Owners should contact their vet if they have any concerns. Nadine Forshaw, Winchester News Online, The New Forest. Local church leader Michael Dennehy has backed a Canadian cardinal for the papal election. The concave to choose a new pope which gathered yesterday has so far had three unsuccessful votes to decide on a new leader of the Catholic Church. The winning cardinal needs a two-thirds majority to succeed Pope Benedict XVI. Ellen Millard has the story. Closed off from the world, hidden in the Sistine Chapel. Until the cardinal electors decide on a new pope, this will be their home. One of these men is destined to lead the Catholic Church, but which one? Far away from Vatican City, local church leader Michael Dennehy spoke of his favourite. Uh, just an idea that a Canadian cardinal called Cardinal Mark Willett, um, I went last year to Dublin at the Eucharistic Congress and he was the, pap the Pope's representative at, at the Eucharistic Congress and I thought he was a very impressive uh, person. In the days ahead, the new Pope will be chosen. Father Michael is hopeful. I hope it gives new impetus, new life and uh, that the Pope, the new Pope will um, govern the church well and will be a great shepherd uh, for the people. How long the process will take is unknown, but eventually someone will be chosen. The ballot papers will then be burnt and white smoke will signal a new leader. But for now, the wait continues. Ellen Millard, Winchester News Online. A new support service is being set up in Eastleigh to help prevent unnecessary trips to hospital for dementia sufferers. The move comes after a critical report condemned the treatment of dementia patients. Ben Hatton has more. A new dementia advice service in Eastleigh has been opened by Charity Mind. The service comes as the Care Quality Commission released findings showing concerns around the quality of services for people with mental health issues. The report revealed dementia sufferers in care homes were more likely to be admitted to hospital with avoidable conditions. And supporting them to make sure that they get all the services that they need and help them stay at home for as long as possible. Because we don't want people going into nursing homes. Um, and that's what the government are really trying to steer people away from that and to encourage people to stay at home because that's where they want to be. Ben Hatton, Winchester News Online, Eastley. Still to come on today's bulletin. A sneak peek at Winnell's travel and adventure magazine. Residents in Southampton were lucky to escape uninjured after a 100-foot tree crashed into a house in Redwood Way. Astonishingly, there was very little damage despite the enormous size of the tree. Tree surgeons have been cleaning up the debris since the accident. After a boy was hit by a bus last month, Winchester Market now has a revised layout of the stalls to improve the overall safety of the high street. Gaps have been added between the stalls and there are now clearer barriers and signs. The Carroll Centre Library in Winchester is to receive about £4,500 to support the community and aid volunteer training. The money is part of a cash injection from Hampshire County Council. Now with the local sports news, here's Kirsty Phillips in our sports centre. EC were looking to make it two wins out of two when they faced Boreham Wood on Tuesday night. The away side have only won four out of 15 away matches all season. Thomas Baxter saw the game. With both Eastleigh and Boreham Wood chasing promotion, it was an important match for both teams and Dale Binns nearly put the home side in front after four minutes. Jai Reason has been Eastleigh's star man of late and this spectacular volley was his second goal in two games. Despite creating little in the match, 
Boreham Wood equalised from a corner through Charlie O'Glocklin on 72 minutes. In stoppage time, Glenn Southam had the chance to give Eastleigh all three points, but his free kick didn't trouble goalkeeper James Russell. Eastleigh remained seventh in the Conference South table and three points from the playoff places. Thomas Baxter, Winchester News Online. Mauricio Potticino has been manager of Southampton for seven games now, picking up six points. Our reporter Liam Garahan spoke to Spanish football expert Guillaume Belague to get his thoughts on Potticino's time at Southampton. How do you think Potticino's adapted to the Premiership and do you think he could be successful? Adapt to the Premiership, give me a year and I'll tell you. <laughs> he's just arrived, I mean he's learning the language, he's learning how it works. He, in that crucial week in Barcelona after he arrived, where they were actually working uh, in the way that he, you've seen, uh, with a team that had already done a lot of good uh, uh, and he didn't have to, needed to start from scratch. He's put the basis, the foundations for the rest of the season, but he's come in the middle of the season, so we have to see, uh, you know, you need for an analysis, a proper analysis, a longer se season to actually realise how good a bad he's doing. But again, talking about a coach, a coach that will identify problems and will apply different solutions to the one that were being applied. And, you know, let's hope it works. I think the, the material, the human material and knowledge is there for Southampton to progress. That's all from sport, but make sure to watch Sports Week to see the final part of Challenge Griff. Back to Christina in the studio. Thanks, Kirsty. And finally, Winnell relaunches its travel and adventure magazine this week. Editor Amy Moore gives us a taste of what to expect. Dive in to Winnell's travel and adventure magazine, complete with redesign and tons of new content, including a package on Go8. Exclusive test drives by Sean Ward, Winnell's very own Jeremy Clarkson. Or you can visit the main site at www.winnell.co.uk slash winnelladventure for interviews with Portsmouth's Sam Potts and Yasmin Parsons, as well as a written piece on student gap year memories. It's going to be action-packed, so strap in and enjoy the ride. That's all from Winchester News Online this week. But for more award-winning news, sports and features, log on to winnell.co.uk. Goodbye.